And if you want the best pint on the island, in my eyes, by the way, then it's here. In a bit. Bye. Bye. We're moving. See you later. Bye. Boxes everywhere. See you later, Rollo. See you later, Rollo. Boxes everywhere. A couple of things to talk to you about today. Let's find the car first. Down there. I'm going to talk about a very important subject to my heart. Talk about beer. Beer. No, I'm not drinking and driving. I'm off to pick somebody up. Give me talking with glasses on. Rude. Very rude. Now I'm going to pick a friend up and uh, talk beer. Are you still with me? Oh, we are... Um, we're moving on Wednesday. The 1st of March. Pretty much got everything sorted. Still a few things to do. I like beer, right? I'm sorry, it's a sunny day. I like beer. I've always liked beer. I don't get this. I don't get this size from salad. You know what I mean? It won't work. Oh my! Oh God! This might work. You might work. Come here. You might rock around a bit on this one, but we'll give it a go. What you notice is our local beer that we drink, or that I drink over here, is Dorada. I drink Dorada. I like Dorada. You know what it is? This is so close, but not quite right. Let me sort this out, because it's going to be safety as well. Safety first, people. That should do it. Right, so the local beer we drink, Dorada. Now, as you can see from all the videos, I drink, actually, bottled beer. Now, that's actually not true. If I... Kids on the street. If I drink bottled beer, when I look at... Ciao. Hola, amigo. Hola. If I'm drinking bottle beer in your bar, that means I've tried your pint, because I do drink pints normally. I've tried your pint, and I've just gone, nah. It's not for me. 100% not for me. So I was in a previous vlog that I'm not really uh, qualified to be a food reviewer because we don't, I, that's the reason why we don't do food reviews and the, the reasons from it. However, however, when it comes to drinking beer, that's a different story because it's just not working. It's just not working for me. The, the, the pint's not working. It just doesn't taste right. There's something not quite right about it. I don't complain about it. I just go, no, it's not for me, and I'll just go straight onto a bottle. You're just like drinking a bottle of Coke. You know exactly what you get from a bottle of Coke because you do a post from a siphon of Coke. You know, when you get on the siphon, the soda stream things. So I'd much rather have the bottle of Coke than a, a soda stream one. However, there is one place that's completely different. And this is the reason why that I know that I can gauge my beer of whether I'm drinking a bottle or drinking a pint. There is one place on the whole of the island that I gauge it against and not, not come across a better pint yet. And that's actually here in the South Centre Reef and it's here on Golf del Sur. So I drink the pint here in this bar, but I don't drink the pint. I drink a pint everywhere else first. And if it's not up to scratch, I go to bottles because I know that it's nowhere near the standard of the pint that I'm drinking on. Does that make sense? Today, we move in three days, and the one thing I'm gonna miss out of all of it, this area is this one pint, because this pint, I don't, think you get a, I don't think you get a better pint. I think it's a great pint of what he does. I 100% believe that you need to try a pint. Oh, Ford Mustang's just going past, mate. It's my favorite car. Ford Mustang Cabriolet, love it. Um, you need to try a pint from this bar if you're coming to the South Tenerife, because it really is worth it. It really is that exceptional. And that different. I keep trying to talk to you. I keep trying to talk to you and have to turn the steering wheel. And if I don't, we die. Safety is a lot more important than subscribers, isn't it? And that brings us on to the next part, subscribing. Everybody who has subscribed to this channel so far, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. I, I can't say how much it means to me. I really, really appreciate it. Is I need to now look and address the people that are not subscribing to this, um, this account. 
and those are like the 70 percent of the people because we watched you know we get a very high I, I get a very high, high volume of people watching it the content but not a high amount of people subscribing to it and we've spoke about this before for you to be able to subscribe to this account which is free by the way um you're going to need a youtube account and most people don't most of you most probably don't have had a youtube account and the re what subscription does it keeps you notified when more vlogs come out uh, it keeps you notified it, it shows you also like-minded stuff as well so, so if you like this then you might like this and it's really good it actually enhances your viewing pleasure really which is uh in the long run it's only a good thing isn't it really i think it is anyway if you don't have a google account you'll never have a youtube account so what i would suggest you do if you'd like to and it, it will help me and i'll tell you the reason why later on it will help us is if you click that sign in in the top right hand corner of google what it'll do is if you don't have an account it'll show you how to set an account up and once you set that account up that means you automatically then have a youtube account because it's the same as your google account that's all it is it's very very simple if you don't know it and nobody shows it you then it makes it harder to do so that was the second thing i wanted to talk to you about is that the second thing or the third moving beer which i'm going to come back to and subscribing do you know there's another thing I can talk to you about just while I'm driving down and waiting because I'm a few minutes away. Did you ever watch, did you watch Room 101? Have you ever seen that, Room 101? I can't remember who originally did it, but I know Frank Skinner hosted it at one point. And it was everything that you hated, you could actually put down this shoe. You could, you'd have to put a debate about it, an argument for it, of I want to get rid of this. And if it was a valid argument, they'd put it down into Room 101 and you'd never see it again. Now, I used to love that show because it was quite interesting because they talk about some stuff. Some stuff used to get put in, some stuff, no, I'm sorry, we're not going to put it in. We need it and therefore it's not going to happen. The episode that I remember the most and I can affiliate with was um, the episode with Ricky Gervais and Frank Skinner. And Frank Skinner asked him what he wanted to put in Room 101. And Ricky Gervais said, I want to put lateness into Room 101. He says, why do you want to put lateness into Room 101? He says, the reason I want to do it, he says, because I am always, always early. So if I've got a meeting with somebody at 5.30, I'm going to be there at quarter past five, and I'm early. If they turn up at 20 to 6, which is 10 minutes late, in my eyes, they're 25 minutes late, and I can't bear it. And to me, I'm exactly the same. I am always, always early. I'm supposed to be meeting a friend up at high, uh, half five. I'm two minutes away and it's now 10 past five. I don't know, to, I don't know what to do because now I feel awkward. Do I sit in the car and wait? Do I sit in the car and wait for him and then text him and say, hi, I'm here? Or do I say, mate, I'm a bit early. Thus putting the pressure on him to actually rush to get ready. It's like the dilemma. What, 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 what's the best way to go about this? He's not late, he doesn't know he's late. In my eyes he's late, but he doesn't know he's late. And that's the really weird one, so I don't know what to do. So we'll, like, we'll find out when we get there, because as I said, I'm about two minutes away from where I need to be. And uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll work it out, eh? It's literally 10 past five, I'm meeting him in 20 minutes, and I'm two minutes away. Maybe people should put in room 101, people being early. 12 minutes past five, so what do I do? 30 minutes past five, I'm, I'm nearly 15, nearly 20 minutes early. I don't know what to do. There's the archway, Palmar. He says, just come under the archway and he's literally here. So I know I'm here in the right place. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna text him. I'll text, I think I'll just say I'm here now. If you're ready, come down. If not, I'll wait. That's normally what tends to happen. I end up tend to wait all the time. So, uh, but that's my fault, not his. That's the weird thing about it. So I've blamed it on the traffic. I've said, look, I left early because of the traffic. And the traffic's not here. There is no traffic today. So I've managed to get out quite quickly. I said, if you're ready, it's fine. If not, I'll wait. No problem at all. So we'll see what he, see if he gets a reply anyway. So I got his reply. Not quite ready. So now I've put pressure on him. He's like, give us five minutes, he'll come down because he's a nice guy as well. And then the nice guy doesn't want to put the other nice guy out. So he's now going to rush because of me being early, wearing it in my head. And I, thinking, I don't think he's late. I think I'm the early one. So it's my issue, not his. But that's why, oh man, eh? It's a night, you know, I've got a feeling, right? People being late are massively annoying people. But people like me being early, just as bad. Just as bad. 
I genuinely think the onus is on me. Not you know it is. It's, gen it's generally me. It's not him. He's he's on time. He's on. He's perfect. He's on time. We agreed at half five. Therefore, he will be ready for half five. Now he's going to have to rush to get himself ready for twenty past five. It's now seventeen sixteen, and I'm rushing him because he's now worrying about me. And this pint is worth it. Stick around to the end, right? Because this pint is definitely worth it. Hola, buenas. Oh, tú tienes. Ah, lo siento. Espero para mi amigo. Cuando, cuando, eh, puedo esperar, esperar y ir. Solo, ah, no pasa nada. Okay, gracias, gracias. Now I'm getting shifted because it's a handicap spot. But she's right; I should be shifted. I was only waiting there. Nice round here. It's very quiet. Beautiful place. Very residential this area. Looks like something out of High Chaparral, doesn't it, when you come in over there? Remember High Chaparral? Look at that. They look pretty, don't they? Very modern. They are fairly new, like. Very, very modern. I'm trying to work out what title to give this one. Mystery, this vlog. Mystery guest or the best pint. What I'll miss most about the golf getting told off for parking illegally <laughs> I don't know found him and I'll ask the question as well you right going on the vlog yeah, yeah. but I'm off for a pint with this man here recognize Hello. this one DJ how you how doing you mate do? how are you mate how are you how are you doing how are you doing I can smell Creed I smell Creed is that Creed <laughs> No, it's actually equity palmer. What do I know? What do I know? Come on, let's go and show up this pint. Let's about to show you this pint. <laughs> the hard part's walking back up the hill. For us, not you, you'll get a taxi, but for us as a local when you go here, the hard part's going back up the hill, really. It's, uh... My mum lives down here. Okay. Yeah, she lives on there. She moved from the opposite where I used to be. She moved over here because it was easier. All the friends are close by. It was a lot easier for her. All right. Here we go. And if you want the best pint on the island, in my eyes, by the way, then it's here at the Emerald. That's where it is there. I don't think you can get a better pint on this island this than is where there. you come in Monday, isn't it? Yeah, come here Monday. Yeah, come here Monday. But this here, this one here, I think you cannot get a better pint on the island than here. So I'm going to test it. Put you to the test. See what you think. See who's in. Oh, my mate, see you as well. Hi, Carl. Hello, Carl. Hi, Carmen. How are you? How are you, How are you guys? You all right? Oh, no, no. What are you drinking? Got to try it around. I'm just doing this off a vlog. All right, about the best pint on the island. Two secs. Who's it? Stevie. This man is actually the owner of the bar as well. I'm just telling everybody, oh he's back, I'm telling everybody about the best pint on the island. And you see here, I brought a friend down for the best one to try it. This is Steve, by the way, at the Emerald. You get the best welcome. Andy, how are you? Good, mate. There you go. Two pints, please, mate. Thanks, Steve. See you in That's Millie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Millie's absolutely soft as to but there you go. We'll see what it's like around here. How are you guys? Here it is. Look at that. Shout for me, Carl. How nice is your beer? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> this is it, right? If you want the best pine on the golf, then that's the one you want, honestly. That, DJ, I can't tell you. Cheers, guys. Look forward to this one. Can I use your words? Yeah. <laughs> it's off the charts, man. Off the charts. Go on, you're not a beer drinker. Go on. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's another level. It's a nice pint, eh? Decent pint, isn't it? It is, yeah. You know what I do. See you on the next one. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.